In our last episode, we took you over the mountains and through the Arctic to the most outrageous views in Norway's Lofoten Islands. To be honest, we could have spent even more time here. But with a solid block of rain on the forecast, we decided it was time to continue rolling along. So, in this episode, we're taking you on a ferry back to mainland and driving south to discover the glaciers, fjords, and national parks that help make this one of the most stunning countries in the world. Drew is droning over the Svartisen Glacier. The sun is hitting it just right. Look at that there. And I'm gonna make pizzas this Saturday night. To bed with a view of the glacier. We slept with the sound of the rain. We woke up to the sound of the rain. And the glacier's somewhere out there now. So much rain. Hey, Mr. Goat. Here, let's get you this one. Yeah, let's feed this guy. He looks poor. Hilarious. I get my finger chopped. <laughs> oh yeah, these are the leaves. These are the leaves. This is intense. <laughs> Please don't eat my fingers. Uh, water. Uh, lots of water. <laughs> the waterfall. Uber water. <laughs> so much water. Lots Wife burns fingers. Yeah, is that what's going on? Oh no. Making tea time and coffee break for the captain of our ship. He needed a break. Yeah. He got roped into driving a lot of hours today. I didn't realize, but it's been raining, so the van really is a ship. Today. And <laughs> Pretty much. And it's been on the water almost yeah. as much as the road on ferries. Basically. Aye aye, captain. Aye aye, babe. <laughs> van wife. Picking raspberries. Wow, fresh. It's like a whole kilo. Yeah, we're getting a lot. Yeah, there's Oops. a ton in here. The worst is when you drop a big one. Yeah, you got, always got to pick them up. You got to search for them. <laughs> oh my god. There's cows everywhere. Dude, for real? <laughs> They've been literally He's gonna eat coming the up. He's gonna to eat sniff. The <laughs> Hi. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Look at his tongue. That's crazy. It's like a crazy cow show tonight. Berry feast for breakfast. These are all of our findings from yesterday. So we made mm. cereal and parfait with fresh honey from France. Yummy. And it's raining. That level with a little help of plastic, wood, and rock. We are perfect inside. <laughs> the crosshairs are perfect from front to back and right to left. Awesome job. And this is home. It's peaceful, I like it. You look so excited, babe. This is the most vibrant rainbow of our lives. Oh, there's double. You see another one? Yeah, to the right. Wow, I do see it. Really pretty. Double rainbow. After all of that driving, and then a little bit more driving, we had finally arrived to our first Norwegian national park, Dovre Fjell Sundas Fjella, where we would be seeking out the prehistoric muskox and summiting Snohetta, the highest mountain outside of Jutunheimen National Park. Starting our trek up Snohetta. It's 9.23 in the morning. It's chilly. It's like arctic chill. There's a super cold breeze coming out for the, gla yeah. the glaciers. The glaciers. It was a rocky hike to the top of this gnarly peak, and the higher we got, the more it felt like we were going to get blown away.
so dark. Whoa, muskox. The only muskox in the entire country of Norway live right here in Dovre Fjell, and we were lucky enough to catch a glimpse just before leaving the park. With our hunger for Norway's incredible mountains and nature gnawing at our heels and the days on our Schengen visas ticking away, we didn't have much time to spare. I just wanted to take a second and show you our home for the night. It's 8 o'clock at night right now, but the sky is still light and this water is so blue. I don't even know what color that is. It's like glacial magic. Let's see Look what the you color see. Is there. Whoa. It's amazing looking. Ooh. This smells like a restaurant in here. Yeah, it does. What are you brewing, chef? What That's are you goodness. creating? Whoa. Potato wedges, baked zucchini, onions. I have a beet burger and do a sausage. Ooh. Sausage. Look at that. Feeling refueled and ready to roll, on to our next destination we went, Jotunheimen National Park. Known as the home of the giants, Jotunheimen is not only where the country's highest peaks are found, but it's also home to one of the most iconic trails in the world. Warm in here with our heater, preparing for this morning's hike on the Bessigan Trail that you can see through our foggy windows. But look how beautiful it is out there. started climbing up. Drew's right there. But the view is just amazing and we're not even at the top yet, but I couldn't help but film a little bit. Look at this. Wow. made meal is a frittata stove top you just cook it real slow with the top on and Here's this is what it result. comes out like mm. voila you didn't think we could resist summiting Norway's highest peak now did you Gald Hoppegen, known as the Roof of Norway, sits at over 8,100 feet tall and what they said would take us 5 hours to hike, 7.5 miles, took us over 8 hours. Those crazy Vikings definitely put us to the test. This is a map of the mountains of Jotunheim National Park where we are and right now Drew and I are right here and we're going to hike up Gald Hoppegen, the highest peak in Norway right there. a bunch of peaks you couldn't see from down at the bottom and Galdopagin is right in front of us there she is just over 8,000 feet and this is the other side of the ridge and now what we see here is the glacier which is pretty impressive I think I got news for you this is a false summit. Yeah. <laughs> this is definitely not the summit we thought it was right there. We gotta go up that thing to the peak. This Holy whole cow. Uphill summit's only supposed to take three hours. <laughs> We're behind the game. 
at least we got beautiful weather blessing us right now. What do you think? I think let's do it. Ready to go up there? Uh-huh. All right, let's do it. Onward. Glittery glacier. We have quite the next hump. Quite the jaunt. <laughs> Enjoying the peak, Andrew especially is because he has his da da da. Ooh, look at this bar. Kiviglunzi. It's supposed to be the thing that all the locals do, so. Literally everyone has pretty one cool. and they're eating them. We saw it once in a YouTube video, so we bought them. It's pretty much like a Kit Kat bar. It's like the same exact thing, isn't it? Is it better than a Kit Kat? Because you're on top of the highest peak in the world? Yeah, Norway? because I walked it all the way up here. <laughs> Yummy. We're going down. Going down, baby? Yeah, time to go down. Are you warm or are you cold? I'm really cold. <laughs> Get moving. Okay. I love being the people who are going downhill. You've been waiting for this all day. The mad ski. Now that's the way to do it. Finally, after eight hours of hiking, we could say we hiked the highest mountain in Norway. And if you thought that was impressive, join us in our next episode where we take you to the legendary Preikestolen, Kirabolten, and more. If you love us, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow our unpredictable lives on Insta, and check out Mr. and Mrs. Adventure.com. Until next time. See you soon.